a 20, almost Ooh. 21. Okay. Well, these are um, the, uh, what you call chopper, it's a big, it's just a big motor, it's an armature. Right. And if you want to see a smaller version, we actually use them today on our trucks. Oh yeah. So if you look at this system right here, this is the same thing that that is over there, only it's like 10 times more. <laughs> um, but you can see the, uh, you can see the uh, armature here and how it spins. Well, it spins this particular way and uh, actually spins, yeah, like that and then you can see the fluting on the inside on the front right here. Oh yeah. So it sucks the air in here and blows it out here. That's how that's why those are fluted in there. And if you get right here and look down over here from this angle, you'll see how that flute actually works in there. Oh you'll, yeah. You'll see a, an opening down here if you look from up there. Oh yeah, yeah, right there. Yeah, you should be able to make your finger show up in there somewhere yeah, right there. Um, through the bottom right here. But actually, let's see, what do I have here? Yeah, this will work. If you come back over here, can you see the light? Yeah. And that's where the fluting, how the fluting works in there. So this is a 12 volt. Right. But that one's a 220, it's, right? It's the same principle. They actually make one that's a little smaller than this. They call it the Chief Sire. But um, these are, uh, we affectionately call them bug grinders. <laughs> uh, but the reason we sent that off every, once every, we try to do it, well, once a day for many, many years. And that was our noon signal. But it was also a sire test. And then we changed and for some fool reason they decided well we'll do it uh, once a month that didn't work too well once every two weeks worked pretty good and the reason why is that with our salt air mm -hmm. it attaches itself to that aluminum and uh, in, the, in the motor system and when it did kick off you would see a white pale dust, not quite a talcum powder, but pretty close, uh, pop out of there. Well, that was the salt air eating the aluminum. Ew. We have uh, some others that um, are, uh, they're old air rate sirens. Oh, yeah. And uh, they, uh, we had them on a couple of uh, State Park restaurant restrooms, and uh, uh, we used those for tsunami sirens. But when they decided they were going to just do it once a month, the salt air just raped those things, and they were actually worthless. They they actually rotted in place. Oh my gosh! If you want to uh, help me pull this up, yeah, we can. Uh, you can see the, the makings of it. Set the camera right there if that's okay. Or yeah, if it'll stay. Yeah, maybe. That's probably the best place right there. Yeah, it's true. Eh. I want to turn it a little bit so you're so you're looking at the whole thing. Is it not looking at the whole thing? Just angle it a little bit like this, and I think you'll get what you're looking for there. We'll try that. Oh, yeah, okay. Then. You get over here on this side, and we'll just kind of wiggle it. Lift it straight up. All the way up. All the way up. There it is. Just set it like you had it. Just set it like this. There you go. <laughs> Mind if I? So, take your camera and you can look on the inside. Yep, look at that. 
the chopper ports. Or the, yeah, the good part. And uh, you can see this is broke away. This is totally rotted over here. Is it all that heavy? Or oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh, yes. That's probably, that's probably about, uh, oh, pretty close to 350 pounds. Jesus Christ, that's heavier than my Thunderbolt. Well, you've got uh, casting here, and uh, then the, the, the bulk of it, though, is here on the motor. Mm -hmm. This has a lot of copper in it. And uh, and then you got steel right here, so yeah. looks like you can take it off though just by unscrewing these little bolts. Well, here. you can, and uh, that could all be rebuilt. But uh, the problem is in this casing here, because when we picked it up, um, this started to separate. And then you see this right here? Mm -hmm. This blew out right oh. here. And so you can see that it's kind of rounded right here. So, and if you look at this, this isn't lining up like it, it probably should. Because if you look at some of the others, you can see the edging is, is pretty, pretty good. There's a little bit of a bevel here that's, that's kind of normal. But look at your uh, bolts right here. See these? Mm -hmm. they're, all, they're all disintegrating because of uh, the salt air. What may I ask you guys going to do with this? I don't know. They'll probably. If, if, uh, if you guys, if you guys going to scrap it, would you mind if a, a big siren fan took it off your hands? Well, I'll talk to the. Uh, I'll talk to uh, the maintenance chief and see what he thinks. Um, do you mind if I uh, try spinning it? Yeah. Just be careful. The bearing's still good, it's just this housing. This, this thing will, we used to wind it up, it was a 10 second wind up. And uh, take about a second and a half, two seconds for it to reach its uh, peak, and then it would, uh, it would stay at that uh, 10 seconds.